Good day everyone, we are the group 11 of 11 STEM Understanding and we are here to present to you some examples of the different types of discontinuity and discuss how to answer them. So, for today's task, we are to determine if the following functions are continuous at x equals c. If not, identify the type of discontinuity and redefine the function to remove the discontinuity if possible. So, let's start. Number one, we have to check if our function 2x over x squared minus 3x is continuous at x equals 0. If not, we are to identify what type of discontinuity it is and redefine if possible. So we can check if our function is continuous at a given point by using the three conditions. Let's first evaluate our function. f of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 over 0 squared minus 3 times 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 squared is 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 over 0 minus 0 is 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So as you can see, our function do not have a value. And we can conclude that it is discontinuous at the given point. But we are still going to check for the limits of our function. So, the limit of 2x over x squared minus 3x as x approaches to 0, we can factor out x squared minus 3x, which gives us the limit of 2x over x times the quantity of x minus 3 as x approaches to 0. We can cancel out x, which left us with the limit of 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches to 0. We can substitute 0 to the x, which will give us 2 over 0 minus 3, which is negative 2 thirds. So as you can see, f of 0 is not equal to the limit of 2x over x squared minus 3x as x approaches to 0. This further justifies that our function is discontinuous at x equals 0. And if we try to graph our function, we can see that it is a removable discontinuity as there is a hole in the graph. If we want our function to be continuous, we have to use a piecewise function f of x is equal to 2x over x squared minus 3x if our x is not equal to 0. And our function is negative 2 over 3 if our x is equal to 0. And as you can see in the graph, our function is now continuous. Number 2, we are to check if our function negative 5 plus x over 2x minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to 1 half. We're going to do what we did in number 1 and we're going to use the three conditions. Let us first evaluate our function. g of 1 half is equal to negative 5 plus 1 half over 2 times 1 half minus 1. Negative 5 plus 1 half is negative 9 over 2. 2 times 1 half is 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 9 over 2 all over 0 is undefined. As you can see, our function does not have a value. And we can conclude that our function is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 half. We're going to check for the limits. We're going to use one-sided limits, the limit of g of x as x approaches to 1 half from the left, and the limit of g of x as x approaches to 1 half from the right. The limit of g of x as x approaches to 1 half from the left, as you can see, goes to positive infinity. And the limit of g of x as x approaches to 1 half from the right goes to negative infinity. Since our limits are in, since our limits goes to infinity, therefore we can conclude that the discontinuity is the infinite discontinuity. Number three, h of x is equal to four x plus x squared if x is greater than one. Negative ten over x minus one if x is less than or equal to one. Our value of x is equal to one. So, we'll substitute it. h of 1 is equal to negative 10 over x minus 1. Substitute the x into 1. So, we have negative 10 over 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And we have negative 10 over 0, which is undefined. From the left, we have limit h of x is equal to positive infinity 
as x approaches 1. Our values of x is 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.999, and our values of h of x is equal to 10, 20, 10,000. From the right, we have limit h of x is equal to 5 as x approaches 1. Our values of x is 2, 1.5, 1.001, and our values of h of x is equal to 12, 8.25, 5.006. And therefore, our discontinuity is infinite discontinuity. Number 4. f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. 2x squared plus 1 if x is less than negative 1. Our value of x is equal to negative 1. So, f of negative 1 equals to 3x plus 5. Substitute the x into the negative 1. So, we will have 3 times negative 1 plus 5. And 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. So, we will have negative 3 plus 5 equals to, equals to positive 2. From the left, we have limit f of x is equal to 3 as x approaches negative 1. Our values of x is negative 2, negative 1.5, negative 1.001. Our values of f of x is 9, 5.5, 3.004. From the right, we have limit f of x equals to 2 as x approaches negative 1. Our values of x is 0, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.999. Our values of f of x is equals to 5, 3.5, 2.003. Therefore, it is a jump discontinuity. g of x is equal to x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2 at the point of x equal to negative 2. First, we must change the x's into negative 2. So, we have g of negative 2 equal negative 2 cubed plus 8 over negative 2 plus 2. First, negative 2 cubed is equal to negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0 over negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So, 0 over 0 is indeterminate. Then, next we proceed to the limit which is limit x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2 as x approaches to negative 2. Then we have factor. We need to factor the x cube. So we have x plus 2 over x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2. We are going to cancel the x plus 2 because they are the same. After we cancel them, the one that will be left behind is equal x squared minus 2x plus 4. Then our limit is x squared minus 2 plus 4 as x approaches to negative 2. And then we do, we need to do the same, change all the x's into negative 2. So we have negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is equal to 12 since our function is removable discontinuity and if we want our function to be continuous we need to redefine it to redefine we have a piecewise function g of x is equal to x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2 if our x is not equal to negative 2 and g of x is equal to 12 if our x is equal to negative 2 therefore our function will be continuous we have h of x is equal to x squared plus 2 x minus 3 over 2x squared plus x minus 3. Since our x is 1, we need to substitute it in all x's that we have. So, h of 1 is 
equal 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3 over 2 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 3. Then equal 1 plus 2 minus 3 over 2 plus 1 minus 3. To, ha to have this, we multiply the given number to the x. So it, it is equal 0 over 0. Remember, if our function is equal to 0, we can call this indeterminate. Therefore, our function is removable discontinuity. To remove the discontinuity, we need to redefine the function to the limit, which is limit x squared plus 2x minus 3 over 2x squared plus x minus 3 as x approaches to 1. We need to factor the numerator. So we have x plus 3 times x minus 1 over 2x plus 3 times x minus 1. Since we have the same given factor, we cancel it out. So we're gonna change this into equal x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. This is the function that we use next. Limit of x plus 3 over 2x plus 3 as x approaches to 1. We're gonna substitute the value of x which is 1. Then equal 1 plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 over 5. Since our function is removable discontinuity, and if you want our function to be continuous, we need to redefine it. To redefine, we have a piecewise functions of h of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 over 2x squared plus x minus 3 if our x is not equal to 1. And h of x is equal to 4 over 5 if our x is equal to 1. And our discon and our function is gonna be this is gonna be continuous. Number seven, we are going to check if y is equal to three raised to one over x is continuous at x is equal to zero. We are going to use the three conditions and let us first evaluate our function. Y is the same as f of x. So f of zero is equal to 3 raised to 1 over x. Substitute 0 to the x. 3 raised to 1 over 0 is undefined since 1 over 0 is undefined. Therefore, since our function does not exist, we can conclude that our function is, is discontinuous at x is equal to 0. Now we're going to look for the limits of our function. We are going to use one-sided limits limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 from the left and the limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 from the right. As you can see, there is one of the limits goes to infinity. And we can therefore conclude that our discontinuity is infinite discontinuity. f of x is equal to x plus 4 x less than 3 and x squared comma x greater than or equal to 3 at the point of x is equal to 3 first we must change our x into the into the given value which is 3 so f of 3 squared is equal to 9 then next to our limit of f of x is equal to 9 as x approaches to 3 from the left then our 
x is 2, 2.5, 2.999, and our f of x is 4, 6.25, 8.994. Is not equal to limit of f of x is equal to 7 as x approaches to 3 from the right. Our x is 4, 3.5, 3.001 and our f of x is 8, 7.5, 7.001. Therefore, our discontinuity is jump discontinuity. Number 9. We are going to check if y is equal to the second of x plus pi over 3 is continuous at x is equal to pi over 6. Let us first evaluate our function. Since y is the same as f of x, we have f of pi over 6 is equal to the second of x plus pi over 3. Substitute pi over 6 to the x. We have second of pi over 6 plus pi over 3. Pi over 6 plus pi over 3 is equal to pi over 2. The second of pi over 2 is undefined. Since our function do not exist or do not have a value, it is discontinuous at x is equal to pi over 6. We are going to look for our limits using the one-sided limits the limit of f of x as x approaches to pi over 6 from the left and the limit of f of x as x approaches to pi over 6 from the right. Since both of our limits goes to infinity, we can conclude that our discontinuity is the infinite discontinuity. Number 10. We are going to check if our function cotangent of x minus 2 pi over 3 is continuous at x is equal to 2 pi over 3. Let us first evaluate our function. g of 2 pi over 3 is equal to cotangent x, cotangent of x minus 2 pi over 3. Substitute 2 pi over 3 to the x, and we have cotangent of 2 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 is 0. So the cotangent of 0 is undefined. And since our function do not have a value, it is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 pi over 3. We are going to look for the limits using the one-sided limits, the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2 pi over 3 from the left, and the limit of g of x as x approaches to 2 pi over 3 from the right. Since both of our limits goes to infinity, we can conclude that our discontinuity is infinite discontinuity. Those are some examples of the different types of discontinuity. And we also showed you how to get them. We hope you learned something today. Thank you and see you next time.